Their residents in the capital Kinshasa are now struggling to purchase basic commodities. And that, of course, is due to a rise in prices caused by the depreciation of the Congolese franc against the U.S. dollar. Now, the country does rely heavily on imports and has lately been spending a lot on buying weapons to end an armed conflict in the east. Here's CGTN's Chris Ochambringa with more on that. <laughs> The Dejese market on the outskirts of Kinshasa is always teeming with customers who come to buy food and other products at affordable prices. But a recent increase in prices has hit many ordinary people hard. The social life of many Congolese has been totally affected by the price increase. It's a chaotic situation that's really had a negative impact on our lives. The US dollar is used for buying goods and services in the DRC, just like the country's currency, the Congolese franc. The DRC Central Bank says the Congolese franc has lost about 15% of its value against the US dollar in the last eight weeks. And that has led to an increase in the prices of many commodities imported from abroad. Feeding ourselves has become so difficult. I'm a mother of five. My husband is a soldier and we are suffering. Our president should help bring down the dollar rate so that we can afford to buy basics. Economic experts say the country's over-reliance on the dollar has caused inflation. Our economy is importing everything, including things we can produce locally, which means that we raise US dollars stock from exporting minerals, 90% of our exports are based on the minerals, and we actually waste these dollars in buying things which could be produced locally. The rise in prices of goods and services comes amid an increase in the purchase of arms by the DRC government to defend the country against the M23 rebels who captured several territories in eastern DRC last year. The DRC started using US dollars for domestic transactions in the 1990s after experiencing hyperinflation that was largely caused by corruption and poor governance. The continued use of the dollar has kept the economy vulnerable to changes in global commodity prices and left many low-income earners struggling to buy basic goods. Chris Sochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.